everybody and welcome back to another Wheel of Time video. So getting right into it, the other day there was an interview released with David Benioff and D.B. Weiss talking about the Game of Thrones and the failures of the last season and how they felt as though they really weren't prepared to make that show the right way. The article was very telling about the mindset with which they approached running the show and it shed some light on why the final season of Game of Thrones was considered such a failure. It got me thinking a bit. And I had to get this out there. So many of us are invested into The Wheel of Time. This is our favorite book series. It's been with us since we were young. We've reread these books over and over again, some of us more than 20 times through. We're emotionally invested. So if I had the ability to talk to Rafe and he asked me my advice about making the show, speaking as a fan, what would I say? To be clear, he has not asked me, but what would I say? Well, today's video will serve as my open letter to Rafe Judkins and the team at Amazon putting the show together. This is my advice, coming from a super fan and someone that desperately wants this show to succeed. Quickly, before getting into the meat of the video, certainly stay to the end as the Patreon special offer for some free merch will be ending soon, and there will be some more information about that. Uh, so let's drop the spoiler warning for this video. This video will carry a spoiler rating of green, with there being no spoilers of any kind, feel free to watch the video regardless of where you are in the series. Dear Rafe, I'm speaking to you as a fan. I'm not a production expert. I'm certainly not experienced at making television shows or movies, and I don't pretend to know all the factors that you have to deal with from a studio and production company perspective. But what I am is a Wheel of Time fan, and I've been reading these books on repeat for years. I'm a fan who's been waiting for this show since I finished the first book and thought, this would make a great TV show. I've wanted to see my favorite characters in this world fleshed out and given life. And more importantly, the reason I even started a YouTube channel in the first place, I wanted people to pick up these books and talk about them with me. So far, I'm really excited, Rafe. I love your choices for directors, costume designers, and special effects. I love the casting choices that we know about. I love the locations that you're filming in. So none of what I'm saying is to imply that you aren't doing any of this, but knowing what we know about other fantasy series that have been adapted and being a fan of just good TV shows in general, these are the things that I want you to keep in mind as you adapt my favorite fantasy series. So let's start with the storytelling. One thing I've noticed in great television shows that have come before, like Game of Thrones at times, Breaking Bad, Westworld, or even the new Watchmen series on HBO. The old adage, show don't tell, really is true. Fantasy stories can tend to lean on exposition to build their worlds, and there are characters that exist that simply just exposit all over us as viewers. Please, please, please show us a deep world with separate cultures that's huge and well-defined, but don't have a character tell us all about it. Build a world and let us learn as we go. The new HBO show Watchmen has us guessing as to what's going to happen next and learning about the world and the events of the past 30 years in that world without telling us anything. We learn from bits and pieces as the show goes on. It's compelling television, and it's pulled in new fans that have not seen the movie and have not read the comics. Westworld did the same thing. We really didn't learn what was going on until the end of each of those seasons. So when it comes to the way you tell this story, don't have characters tell us things. I want compelling television, and I want to learn about the world of the Wheel of Time naturally. And all of that is also to say that one of the strengths of the Wheel of Time is the amazing world that Robert Jordan built for us in his novels. Please use that world. Flesh it out. Make it large in scale and massive. Give us depth. Have the architecture be distinct, the accents, the way people dress. All of this makes the world more immersive, and that's one of the things that drew me into the Wheel of Time to begin with. And when it comes to the characters, Rafe, what I really would love to see is substance over action. Not to say that I don't want to see our characters out doing cool stuff, but I want to love and hate these characters. I want to question their actions and cheer them on. I want to think about how stupid and frustrating they are, and I want to see how real they are as well. Character moments should be the focus of the writing, not simply action set pieces. Those conversations between two people sitting around are not always visually stimulating, but great conversations make great characters that make us care. I want to worry about them living or dying. I want to be afraid for them. I want to worry for their sanity or dread what they might do next. That isn't going to happen unless we can relate, 
and that starts with great writing and great dialogue. Last thing on the storytelling part. Tell the story like you're going to get all the way through all the books. Some of the story elements of The Wheel of Time lend themselves to a self-contained story, you know, like the whole first book, for instance. But on the whole, this series is one long arc towards the last battle. Tell the story with the foreshadowing and small hints here and there that Robert Jordan was so skilled at weaving into his story. Most people don't realize how much he did this until their fifth and sixth rereads. But those little hints here and there of what will come are one of the things that makes this story so great. Don't worry about how many seasons you're going to get. Just tell the story like you're going to get them all. Because if you do a good job and this show is the hit that it should be, you have the chance of giving us a masterpiece of storytelling. Now let's talk about the part I don't want to hear though, Rafe. Changes. I know they have to come. I know that pages of a book and the medium of television are not always compatible and that there's going to need to be cuts and changes and all kinds of things I don't want to see. In my heart of hearts, I just want to see the exact same story from the books on the screen. But I also know that's not realistic. I know that there isn't time for all of it. I know that some parts of the books wouldn't look good on TV. I know that some of the material is aged a bit to the point where it wouldn't really work as well as part of the story. But here's my plea. Make the necessary changes but remember that you have an amazing source material to work with that is finished and it's really good. There's very little that needs to be changed to make this story work. I understand there will be changes. Just don't forget how good the material is. You don't have to make up the ending of the story like they did for Game of Thrones. It was obvious when they passed the source material and the show suffered in quality a lot. You will never have to do that. Just don't forget it. And while we're on the topic of changes, you don't need gimmicks to bring in new fans. I know Amazon needs to make money, and to do that, they need to expand the fan base. I actually want these things too. But don't resort to forced cliffhangers, action-oriented storytelling, or bringing in celebrity cameos just to get people to watch. Wheel of Time does not need that. The story stands on its own. If you create a quality show with dynamic character interactions, an incredible world, high production values, and tell Robert Jordan stories well, fans will follow. Never lose sight of quality first, fans come after. That was the formula for the rise of Game of Thrones. It wasn't the juggernaut that it became later uh, until after the first two seasons. They just made good quality stuff and it grew and grew in popularity. Say what you want about the ending, but the beginning was outstanding. All that being said, it's okay to make some changes to appeal to a broader audience though. I will always have the books to fall back on. Changes that give more depth and more realism to the show are going to attract a new audience and I'm all for that. If you need to add more naughty language, nudity, or even sex, as long as it's not over the top and adds to the story, I'm all for it. If we want to expand certain characters' roles to give them more of an arc to better tell the story, I'm all for that. We know there will be changes. I know there will be changes. Just don't lose the heart of the story, Rafe. I know there's been a vocal minority that hasn't been happy with some of the things that you've announced. I know that there are even some cheering for this adaptation to fail. There's nothing you can do about that. That's not most of us. But I do share a concern, and I think it's worth keeping in mind. To me, art is best when it prompts conversation. When it forces us to have a conversation about society, relationships, and morality. But art done well is where it does nothing but prompt that conversation not tell us the answer. We learn best when we figure it out on our own. I've had this happen so many times in my life. If you tell me I'm wrong, I don't want to listen to you. But you give me something to think about that makes me question my worldview, and I might change. I say this all for one reason. Your adaptation of the books should make us think. It should make us think about slavery, equality, gender roles, and even politics. But it shouldn't tell us what side is right and wrong. It should set us up to have those conversations with ourselves, and with others. Use this medium to make us think, but don't preach. Let us decide. The world is gray, and none of us is always right. The right way is somewhere in that muddy grayness. So to wrap up my thoughts, I have a couple broader things that I'd love to see. Watching David Benioff and D.B. Weiss say that they didn't want to listen to anyone else, and that they wanted to write the series themselves, makes me realize that we all need others around us to give us feedback. You've surrounded yourself with an amazing cast of actors and actresses, a great production team, and some great directors. These are signs of great leadership. The best leaders get people better than them and they empower them. Rafe, don't be an island. Use those talented people, but also insist on greatness. You're in charge. This series is important to millions and you have a big task ahead of you. Not everyone is gonna love it, but you need to insist that everyone that works on the show understands the gravity of what they are doing and make it as perfect as they can. From sets to costumes to acting to the CGI, 
just insist on greatness and listen to feedback. And lastly, again, learning from Weiss and Benioff, who said they never looked at fan feedback at all. Listen to your fans, just not too much. You've done a great job of engaging with the fan base and giving us things to be excited about. Keep doing that, but don't listen to those who are just negative. Look for actual constructive feedback. Rafe, I appreciate that you've taken on this task, and I have a lot of confidence in you. I want you to succeed, and I think you will. But even though my opinion doesn't count for much, I wanted to get all this off my chest and continue to hope for the best and send my support to what you are doing. Thank you for making this book series I love into a TV show. Thank you for exposing the series to millions of new people. And thank you for actually giving me reasons to believe this show is going to be a massive success. Thank you, Nablus. So guys, that's what I would say to Rafe. If given the chance, what would you say to Rafe about the show? Please let me know in the comments below. And like I mentioned earlier in the video, the special offer running on my Patreon is going to end tomorrow. So up until October 31st at noon Eastern Standard Time, if you sign up for the Dreadlord tier or above on my Patreon, you will get a limited edition Make Ranland Great Again t-shirt mailed out to you. Patreon is the absolute best way to support not only what we're doing here on the channel, but also the creation of the new Wheel of Time fan website that we are putting together. I actually have a team of people working on it right now and volunteering their time to make this something really special for everybody. And this is the best way you can support that. So if you like my content and you want to support the growing Wheel of Time community, please consider checking out my Patreon page and the support tiers there. There are some really cool benefits and perks. You can also support the channel by getting your Nablus merch. Hmm. Coffee just tastes better out of a chosen mug. Both the links for the merch and the Patreon are below. Please like the video if you enjoyed it and subscribe to the channel to be updated when I post new Wheel of Time content. Thanks again everybody for watching and peace out. Tinker in the kitchen with a job of work to do Mistress up above, slipping on a rope of blue She prances down the staircase, a fancy oh so free Crying, Tinker, oh dear Tinker, won't you mend a pot for me?